My name is Deepak Taylor. I'm looking for £50,000 investment in return for 10% equity in my company. Now, a few years ago, I was spending a lot of time on the internet trying to learn about ways to save money. And I came across these freebie websites. There were places where you could order free samples of products, things like makeup and food. I began using these sites regularly. I quickly became disappointed by the selections available on their sites. I felt like they focused far too much on advertising rather than giving the consumer what they want, which is real free products. So instead, I created Latest Free Stuff as an innovative platform to connect consumers to retailers. I'll show you how easy it is to use a website. Say a consumer wants to order the shampoo. They click on the Get Freebie button, and it loads up the brand's website. They fill in the details and submit the form. And the brand will post a sample directly to the user's house. It's that easy. Now, the website is not only the perfect platform for consumers to try before they buy, but also for brands to launch brand awareness for their new marketing campaigns. We get paid a small commission for products and services offered from our partners. And we've already partnered with large companies, including Vodafone, O2, Uber, Amazon, and many more. We attract over 300,000 visitors a month, and we've got an email database of over 140,000 users. We're now the UK's largest freebie website. And with the Dragon's investment and expertise, I'm hoping to grow the website even further. Thank you for listening. I welcome any questions you may have. Super saver Deepak Taylor is here to raise £50,000 for 10% of his website that puts free stuff at your fingertips. But will his company pass muster with the Den's consumer champion, Sarah Willingham? I write a lot about stuff like this. I've got loads of blogs and we do a lot of freebie stuff. So it's a space I know pretty well. It is such a tough space very, very heavily populated. But, I mean, 300,000 visitors per month is, is impressive. So you must have a pretty decent um, margin. The projected um, profit for this year is 200,000. What, what is the actual for last year? Um, last year's um, revenue was 250,000, um, with a net profit of 130,000. What's your balance sheet look like? Um, at the moment, we've got about 150,000 in the bank. And we've never spent money on advertising that either. It's just grown. Um, the you, you, so your marketing budget or spend on paid for search or, or anything in total last year was how much? Um, zero. <laughs> because we've had exclusive deals, and that's the key reason for it growing so big. Wow. Deepak. Do you have any other investors involved in the business? Um, no, I've never really needed investment. I've always just had the goal of keeping things slim and lean um, and trying to reinvest the profits into the website and grow it step by step. And it is latestfreestuff.com? Yeah, you own the portal. I own it, yeah. Yeah. It's almost, it's quite bizarre. It's like the thing that you kind of dream of happening is finding somebody that comes into the den that's got 150,000 in the bank, has created a website that's really, really good, is offering a fairly good deal. It's almost too good to be true. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Wow. What are you looking for from an investor? Our uh, problem at the moment is around 90% of the site is not monetized. 10% um, of the offers are monetized, and that's where the revenue is coming from. What do you mean by none? monetized product? Um, so if I show you the website again, um, the Garnier shampoo at the top, the Garnier aren't paying us for every customer who orders from there. Right, but the reason you put it on the site is because it, it adds content. That's correct, it okay. adds value and it gets right. more people to come So back. 90% of your product drives content yeah. and 10% you're being paid and what, your biz what you need to do with the business is get more paid for content. But the problem we're having when we're talking to advertisers at the moment when I set up the site, I wanted to create an open platform. Um, so we don't have any registration pages, we don't have any login pages. To move to the next level, we would need to know who these consumers are, um, what they're interested in, so we could get specific deals for specific companies in the UK. Ah, okay, okay, I mean, I, right. 
I can see where you need the help now. Do you, um, Pat, before you go off that, Nick, I actually think there is an issue with login because on the free sites, people worry about being bombarded with offers. I, I, would, I, I, dis, I would disagree with that because it's a question of the trade-off. If you're someone who regularly goes in for free offers, at some point, you're going to have to tell them where to send the stuff to. If you can understand how often a typical user will come back and understand that pattern of their visits and, and what they're ordering, that is gold dust. An e-commerce masterclass for Deepak, as online expert Nick Jenkins identifies that failure to collect customer data will slow success. While Tuka Suleiman is pondering how to take this freebie website to the big time. You've got two problems. One, you want more traffic. And two, you want more goods. You know, and I can see exactly what could be done here. It's, it's very much knowing the marketing directors directly with the brands. And that's exactly what I think a dragon can bring. It's about getting more brands in there. I could be the dragon that could open doors for you. I could be the one that could make the call and say, this is who I want to target, how do we get there? So there's a lot I can offer you. I am going to make you an offer. So I'm offering you all the money. You have access to me on a daily basis. Nine developers in house. I'm offering you uh, a new platform so your website can take whatever users can go on there. I will deal with your strategy, but I want 20%. Retail king Tuka Suleiman wastes no time staking his claim on the company. He's offering links to some big brand names, but at 20%, he's asking for double the equity. Will Peter Jones turn his admiration for this business into an offer of investment? This is my game. I'm in this game. I have a, I have a lot of developers. And if I was to actually think about it for a moment, I don't think it's that difficult to invest 40 or 50,000 pounds and have something that's quite superior to what you have today. I was quite weirdly, and it, it felt like a bit of a dream, because I'm kind of thinking, well, it's impressive, it's brilliant, for all of the reasons. But if you're in this game, it's actually not that difficult. I'm going to say, sadly, I'm out. Praise for Deepak but tech tycoon Peter Jones can't get over the fact that the website can be easily copied by anyone with a bit of software savvy. With those doubts hanging in the air, consumer champion Sarah Willingham has come to her own decision. I've got to tell you, I'm really excited. Really excited because you have done it actually all the right ways and you just totally get your business. And actually, all you need, really, is a bit more support plugged in around you in the right directions, and you'll fly. I work extremely closely with a lot of the major discount sites, and there are parts of your business that could easily slot into that. So I would also like to make you an offer. But I think my magic number, in terms of percentage, is 15%. And I was going to say 20, and it feels greedy now to say that, because I don't want to be greedy, because I think you've created something great, and I don't want to take too much away from you. So that would be all of the money for 15% of the business. Despite Peter Jones's scepticism, Deepak gets a second, better offer, for 5% less of the business than sought by Tuka Suleiman. Time for Nick Jenkins to make up his mind. My concern is that this is all driven by, by search and that the number of people who are looking for free stuff is not necessarily going to grow. And the question really is how much more noise you can make than the next guy. That I just don't know how I could increase that organic search engine traffic. So because I can't see how I can help with that, I'm afraid I'm going to be out. But I take my hat off to you for what you've built so far. Thank you. 
Deepak. I see this very much as a, uh, a, a platform that looks like a free platform offering product to consumer. But actually, if you can get the platform right, is a campaign tool, and that's how you get more product. In terms of marketing and partnership expertise, I, I get the consumer journey. I completely understand where the money's made on this and the shape that this has to be. So I'm gonna make you an offer, and it is for all of the money. And I'm gonna offer you the money on the terms that you have asked for, because I think it would be kind of rude not to. all of the money for 10% of the business. I think I need a minute, I think. The entrepreneur now has three propositions to consider. Deborah Meaden's 10% equity bid matches Deepak's original offer. However, 15% buys him Sarah Willingham's industry experience and 20% guarantees him access to Tuka Suleiman's retail contacts. Um, so I think I've made my decision. Um, I would like to accept Deborah's offer. I'm delighted, Deepak. I'm very pleased indeed. Thank you. Well done. Deepak has done it. His self-assured performance has won him a valuable partner in Deborah Meaden. I think you had a premonition, because you've got Deborah on your website. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> he leaves with the respect of the den and £50,000 of investment. Deborah was definitely the right person. We need to attract more brands into our platform. Um, I think she was the best place to make that possible. That was the best decision I've ever made.